Hi everyone, Scott D'Amico back with another communication Q&A. Today's question is, how can I be more persuasive when presenting my ideas or projects at work or at home? I have a great example of this and there's three things I want you to think about. The first one is when you ever you have to present something and you need to be persuasive or you're trying to get buy-in for an idea or an initiative, you want to really understand the person that you're going to be presenting to or having that conversation with. Are they a detailed person? Are they bottom line person? Are they the big picture thinker? So start to think about what do I know about this person or maybe in general, what do I know about the audience? You might not know them personally, but you could probably draw some inferences based on their work experience or based on the type of job that they do. The second thing is you want to establish a joint goal or a joint outcome for that particular interaction. So you want something that you both can agree on as goals for this conversation or this meeting. Then the final thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that when you're organizing and presenting your ideas, you've organized it in a way and presented it in a way that's going to resonate with what you know about that person, their personality type, and that's going to tie back to those joint goals that you talked about. So when I first moved uh, to my new neighborhood about six years ago, my wife and I were meeting with the school. We were trying to get some accommodations for our daughter at the school. And we knew it could be kind of a challenge to get done. It could be a little contentious. And rather than just going in there hot and making demands and banging on the table, which likely would not have worked well in a school setting, you know, we set out to think, okay, what do we know about folks that work in schools and their administrators or their counselors? Obviously, they have lots of rules and regulations that they have to follow, but for the most part, they're very caring people. They care about kids and they want what's best for them. So knowing that, we set out our joint statement that, you know, above all else, what we're looking for is for when our kids are in your care, that they're going to be safe and healthy, that they will thrive academically and grow and develop socially. And once we got that buy-in from the group we were meeting with, I presented our plan and our ideas and then made sure to continuously tie it back to those outcomes that we had agreed upon. So the next time you have to have a persuasive conversation or a persuasive meeting, think about those three things. You know, what do I know about my audience? What's their personality type? What do I want to achieve or what can we achieve? What's our joint goal for this conversation? And then making sure that you're organizing and delivering your thoughts in a way that will resonate with that person and will tie back to those joint goals. If you do that, I'm sure you'll see a lot of success with presenting your ideas.